I'd like to just start off by saying this has been a long journey, hasn't it? We started in March. And if there's anything that I can say that is good about this process is that we have grown as a community. And I think that you will probably appreciate how much we have grown as a community and how much research we've tried to do and how our at least our public speaking has gotten a lot better than it used to be in March. And I also would like to say that I just came back from a trip in Hawaii. Um, it was really nice. And one of the things that I noticed there was, and everyone was pretty proud of, was the fact that uh, in 2040 they're going to be um, completely um, renewable energy. And just about every third house in Hawaii had solar and there were windmills everywhere. And I think we need to, to think that way as well. But my particular job, as you know, we have pretty much a solid community um, against this power plant, and my particular job is usually healthcare, so I would like to update you, um, as I have throughout, about the most recent um, studies that have come out. And uh, as an update, the newest study came out on September 12th of 2016, finding that exposure to air pollution ups the risk of insulin resistance. It, German researchers found that 14.5% higher insulin levels and 15% increase in insulin resistance, along with abnormal beta cell function markers for every 7.9 micrograms of the elevation in particulate matter. I will say at this time that there is particulate matter that will be um, uh, spewed by uh, the Clear River along with um, multiple other um, pollutants that are all considered um, in your table, in the table as significant. This study, um, the most recent one, was done on 3,000 individuals in southern Germany and the results were most pronounced among those with pre-diabetes rather than uh, full-blown type 2. Closer to home, earlier this month, scientists from the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, suggested that early pollution exposure could predispose people to diabetes. Researchers are now considering outdoor air pollution as a more serious environmental factor, causing diabetes and a call for government policies to um, address the pollution control. We know that there is a link between obesity and type 2 diabetes as well. And in China, a study was done showing exposure, this was in 2013, uh, a study was done showing exposure to air pollution increases the risk of obesity. March 2016, Chinese scientists found laboratory rats who were breathing Beijing's high polluted air and they gained weight after three to eight weeks of exposure. Some rats breathed in air from the outside and the control had filtered air. After only 19 days, the lungs and livers of the pregnant rats exposed to the pollution were heavier, despite their identical diet, and it showed increased in the inflammatory markers. The rats had a 50% higher LDL, or bad cholesterol, 40% higher triglycerides, and 97% higher total cholesterol. Bottom line is air pollution results in metabolic dysfunction, which is the precursor to obesity. The dysfunction increased over an eight week time and after three weeks, the rats were 10% heavier. After eight weeks, they were 18% heavier. Now, I know that we might not be seeing collapsed lungs all over Providence. However, I will venture to say that we have a lot of diabetes, we have a lot of pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, and obesity. So I will say that I think that we have to pay more attention to our environment and how it affects our health. As science continues to discover more and more causes for obesity and ultimately diabetes and insulin resistance, which is known cardiovascular risk factor for heart disease, we as a society must try to rein in the causes of this progression. Some things we can control. Choosing renewable energy as opposed to fossil fuels will decrease exposure to pollutants significantly. I ask the EFSB to help the Rhode Island population stay healthy and avoid the known small particulate matter in all power plants before you now. And let's start with the Clear River. <laughs>